Many years ago in 1992, your life fell apart. Will you share your story with us today? I would love to. I mean, in 1992, if you had been flipping through channels and stopped on the 700 Club on the Christian Broadcasting Network, it would have looked like everything was fine. I appeared on there every morning as I had for five years, you know, makeup, hair, outfit, looking like everything was great. But but actually, I was slowly disappearing a little bit more and more every day inside. And I had never honestly heard of depression. I'd never heard of clinical depression. But I think particularly not for someone who was in ministry, particularly at a ministry where we prayed for people to be healed from various things. But um, I just felt this overwhelming weight of sadness, not just what you experience when you're having a bad day or you get some sad news. It was more like it was just winter in my soul and I couldn't shake it. One of the things I tried to do, um, I fasted and prayed for 21 days and just said, Lord, if there's anything in my life that's not pleasing to you, please show me what it is and, and I'll gladly repent. But at the end of the 21 days, I felt no condemnation, but I also felt no comfort. It was as if heaven was silent. And I don't know if you've ever gone through a time like that, but when you're desperately praying and it seems as if heaven is silent, it's hard to know what to do next. But it was actually part of God's rescue plan. That's so interesting. I think if you go right from the book of Genesis all the way through to the revelation given to John, God has always, always had a rescue plan, but it doesn't always look like something we would ever sign up for. Because in the midst of what seemed like a wonderful opportunity of being a co-host, one day on live television, I fell apart mm -hmm. and couldn't pull myself together. And by that evening, I was in the locked ward of a psychiatric hospital. And I was the same age as my father was when he was committed to a psychiatric hospital and he did not survive. He took his own life. My father committed suicide. So it just, it's interesting how one thing can appear to be true. And I wonder honestly, how many of us in church show up every Sunday and we've got our smile on, we've got our outfit on, we're, we've got our Bibles with us, everything. But inside we feel as if we're disappearing a little bit more every single day. Mm -hmm. 